welcome to a week in my life, work week in my life. Before we even talk about this vlogger me, just my hair, my new hair with the Dyson. Oh my gosh, this is actually insane. I forgot how much different a cut makes too. Like my hair just looks so much healthier and ever since I went darker, like less than a week ago, it just feels amazing. Oh my gosh. Anyways, hello. My name is Jenna. If you guys are new here, I work in corporate strategy and I work nine to six, eight to five, whatever you call it. And this week I actually have a deadline and it's also a short week because it's July 1st weekend. And our company gives both July 4th and the Friday before July 4th off as like our disconnect day. So we have a short work week this week. It's Monday. You guys, I am just like feeling amazing with this new hair. It's so insane. But regardless, I hope you guys come along this week with me. I have a lot of like fun things planned this week after work. And it is around eight o'clock. I need to go to the office early because I need to leave a little early because I have therapy tonight and a dinner for my friend, Sarah, who's moving to New York. She's like, what am I? My lifelong friends i think she's like probably one of the oldest friends i've ever had and we don't see each other too often but you guys do have those friends in your life like those best friends that you know you'll have for the rest of your life that you probably don't talk to as often as you would want to but it's just how life goes and when you're together it's like no time has passed at all that's sarah to me so i'll show you guys her later after work but i just want to start off this vlog show you guys my dyson and my new hair with my dyson and Let's go to work. <laughs> Who has hair like this? It's crazy. Here's my full work outfit. It's pretty casual, honestly. You guys know how I feel about the button down trend. I actually got this new from Uniqlo and it was only like $40, I think. And it's really nice, very casual, but business casual and cute. And we gotta go. I like gotta go right now. Going far from the new you, the closer to memory. my complete outfit of the day. I think I'm just gonna wear sneakers to make this a little more casual, but this is very cute. I love like two-toning blues. Okay, let's go to work. Let's have a good day and I will see you guys later, but this is an office day too. We're hitting the work week hard with an office day. Day. It is actually like seven o'clock. I need to go in and go to this like surprise dinner. I took therapy in my car today and I filmed this whole clip, but I feel like the lighting was really bad in the garage at work. I had to take therapy from the car because I, otherwise I was going to be late to this like surprise and I can't be late to it. So I'm here. BetterHelp is really, really nice in that way. You can take your therapy sessions in the car. You can take your therapy sessions, video call, phone call. There's kind of like benefits to both too. Like video calls are good when like you want them to see you, but then phone calls are good because you get more immediate responses. And I've still never done therapy in person. So so for now, I only have video calls and phone calls to go off of, but today was a phone call and it was really nice. I talked to her about things and it was, it was just really nice. So I'm in a good headspace. I'm going to go to this dinner and I'm not going to bring you guys in. Maybe just like a clip of my phone. One of my old roommates will be there. So maybe just like a quick clip of her or something, but I'm here for Sarah. I'll show her to you guys too. So let's go in. I gotta go. <laughs> guys I'm like just on the verge of tears again <laughs> what is wrong with me my friend Sarah that you guys saw she's like one of my oldest friends I already told you guys about her this morning she's moving to New York and I guess I just feel like so many people that are so close to my heart keep moving away <laughs> and it's just really hard to deal with and it's just really hard when Thomas isn't here to like keep me company with it and I feel like I'm just going through like one close friend after another. But what I'm trying to talk through in therapy is that like it doesn't have to be sad. I think I just take it that way because like nothing in my head 
beats like me missing my friends and I just feel like I'm adding to the list of friends that I'm like gonna miss. It's all just very weird. I'm trying to hold myself together. Um, I'm gonna go on a walk. It's like late. It's like 10 something but I just really want to go on a walk and clear my mind. You guys know me but it was a really nice dinner and it was really nice to show you guys Sarah. I've like never talked about her before or like shown you her before on my channel so I'm really happy that you guys got to see her before she moves away. Okay well I am gonna walk and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. It's always the night time that I feel like sad and it sucks but Whatever. Good night. I just want to take a quick moment and thank Brooklinen again for sponsoring today's video. You guys, Brooklinen is having a sale, which they don't do very often, so you guys have to take advantage of this while you can. You guys know how much I love my Brooklinen sheets. Ever since I got Brooklinen, I just, like, I've never had such good sleeps ever. Let me just make my bed, and then I will tell you guys a little bit more about Brooklinen. This is literally the best pair of sheets I've ever had in my life, and I'm not even exaggerating. What's really nice about Brooklinen's sets is that it basically transforms your entire entire bed with just one purchase. It's so, so nice. So if you want your sheets and your duvet to be a different color, you can do that. And it all comes in one set, a sheet set, an entire duvet cover, and two extra pillowcases. So you basically transform your bed overnight with one purchase. If you guys have another bedroom at home, or if you have a family member that you want to help transform their bedroom, Brooklinen literally is the best gift. It's so nice. And I'm telling you guys, if you get this as a gift for somebody, they will never forget it ever again because they don't realize what they're missing out on by not having Brooklyn in. I said this once and I'll say it again, but it literally feels like a five-star hotel in your bedroom. It's so nice. Now that I've had Brooklyn in for a couple of months, what I love the most about it is that I feel like it's worn into my body over time. So it feels even more comfortable than the first sleep, which is just unheard of while still feeling so high quality and so soft. I chose Brooklyn in because I really wanted to overall amplify and just increase the quality of my sheets at home. We spend 30% of our lives sleeping and I just feel like like that means that you have to take care of yourself a little bit more even when you are sleeping so you guys Brooke Linen will do that for you. I think honestly my favorite thing about Brooke Linen is just how good of a deal you're actually getting when you purchase from it because if you think about it you guys if you want to get an entire sheet set two extra pillowcases and a duvet insert usually all of that would be at least $500 but with Brooke Linen and it's Lux Hardcore sets it's only $250 which is so good like that's actually such a good deal for everything that you're getting. So you're overall saving money you're changing your whole entire bed you will just have such better sleeps I'm telling you guys. Make sure you take it of this Brooklyn and sale 15% off all items is so good and they rarely ever do sales like this so if you guys have always wanted to try Brooklyn and this is your time to do it while you can still get everything on a discount thank you again Brooklyn and for sponsoring today's video let's get back to the video guys happy Tuesday you guys I spent all morning catching up with a friend and cleaning my apartment let me just show you we have a clean counter an almost empty sink I like had had two mugs okay let's just forget about it but I did all my dishes and I cleaned everything I always just like end up having clutter on my couch and my coffee table and it just makes me so unwell because this is literally the only space that I have in my apartment so when it's all nice and clean I just feel so good I'm headed off to work. Here's my lunch today. I, my mom made me some chicken soup and I was like, why am I not bringing this to work? So I have chicken soup for lunch today. I have some rice because I like to put rice in my soup. It's just like, I don't know. I think it tastes really good. Maybe it's a Korean thing. And then I have a yogurt bowl for like my breakfast and that's it. And here's my outfit today. I'm wearing this really, really, really old shirt from Zara. This like has got to be like four years old, but you guys, it's like that material that you can't really tell when it's aged. And these are the best types of tops. So I'm wearing this with just like a black pair of jeans and that's my outfit today. And my hair still looks great. If you guys care as much as I do about your hair, do you ever just wake up and you're like, does my hair still look good from yesterday? Or like, did my sleep just like mess it up? <laughs> because I literally wake up like that every day. And I woke up and I was like, my hair looked so good yesterday. I walked to the bathroom and I was like, please, please, please. And I think it still looks good. Like I didn't even have to touch it up. There's my morning brand. Good morning, you guys. I'm gonna head off to work. It's around 
8.06 and I want to go to work early just to get a lot done and I want to like come back at a reasonable time and I have a deadline so if I just get there early and start early maybe I can do that well I love you guys have a good day I'll see you after work and yeah I have been loving slow mornings just like tidying up maybe talking to a friend listening to music doing that instead of working out lately is just like my it's just it's just amazing happy end of the work day I decided on my ride home that I'm gonna film my reflect and prep oh is this still mm. needs to go back in okay sorry if you guys can hear that but I decided I'm going to film my reflect and prep video tonight it's gonna be like a sit down not a vlog so I am running out of time and I always always do this I have Friday off and I honestly just need to like tell you guys what July is gonna look like because I'm gonna have like a lot of sponsored content. I'm gonna be traveling. So I feel like things might be a little like out of the ordinary for me, but you, I'll explain more in the video. But you guys, I've had like zero sponsored content in June. So just bear with me. I need to talk to you guys also about like therapy and just like sit down and reflect on everything and tell you how much I spent. So I'm gonna film that video tonight, but I'm going to have dinner before. What a weird day. I was like so up and down at work today. I have no idea why. Well, it's cause I have the deadline, that's why. <laughs> But I just wanted to see you guys before I film this other video and this is the reality, at least for me, not an ideal, not really setting a good example, but this is just my reality of being a full-time corporate person and a content creator. Sometimes I'm ahead and sometimes I'm like filming two days before because I'm like out of time and I need to stay on my schedule. But I just need to be like absolute rock bottom to skip a video and I really don't like to do that often. So I'm fine, I'm doing fine. I'm gonna film the video and I'll see you guys tonight or maybe tomorrow morning. But yeah, that's where I'm at. Happy Tuesday. Oh my gosh, I need to go you guys. It's like early. It's very early But I just need to go to work early and get my work done because if I am coming back late tonight I'm gonna be really really mad at myself because this is how early I'm going, but I'm out of contacts and I ordered new ones So I'm gonna open this with you guys not that you really care, but I wear Cooper vision contacts This is just like what I've always worn. I do wear dailies just because why not? This is open and I got a whole year's supply this time because I'm tired of getting it every six months. Fresh day Cooper Vision daily contacts. That's what I wear. That's the riveting stuff behind my eyes. How about we just finish this in the bathroom because I've got to go and I'm basically already besides my contacts. I went to bed, I think like right before midnight last night. So I'm not feeling too tired. I'm just like very stressed. So whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. I think of my entire job, I think of everything that I do for this job, my least favorite, hello. My least favorite part is like deadline week. And I feel like I've probably made that obvious without having to tell you. I'm just not good with research deadlines. Like I'm good with like tasks. Like in my old job, I was doing a lot of Excel modeling and stuff and I felt like it was all fine because like consulting is just so fast paced and like you're in excel in one and then a different excel in another but this is all like research and reports and powerpoint and that's just so so fundamentally different Ooh, but at least now i can see i look so tired it's fine sometimes you just need to embrace how tired you look and oh my god if i'm tired then i'm just working so hard right I ended up walking outside for literally two hours, you guys. Like, I walked six miles. What's wrong with me? <laughs> but it was really nice. And honestly, the weather has just been really nice lately for walking at night. And I just talked about this in my monthly reflection prep video, but walking is like literally the only form of exercise that I've been doing. So, so it's kind of nice, honestly. And oh my gosh, I gotta go. I gotta go. If you guys wear contacts, you know like that beginning feeling of when you're like your eyes are still adjusting to putting on your contacts, but okay, should I put on something else? 
brows. No, screw it. We're going bare face. Brows and mascara, what's new? Here's me with mascara on. I think I look a lot more awake now. You guys, the lash serum. I feel like it's really working. If you guys tried the lash serum or if you bought it because I've been telling you to buy it, I promise it works, but you have to wait like three months and you have to like religiously put it on every single day or else you're not gonna see results. But I sure as heck see results now. I'm just going very simple with my outfit today. I'm wearing like a half tucked in white oversized button down. This is from H&M and then my jeans are from Abercrombie. But here's the outfit, should I tuck this in? No. I'm gonna be sitting all day. I just wanna be comfortable. This is it. I'm gonna go to work. I love you guys. I will see you guys after work. I hope at like 6.30 or seven. Please, please. guys happy end of the work day the thing is i'm like not even feeling that like oh a great weight has been lifted off my shoulders because i have to edit tonight and i have to like do more things tonight and like prepare for the weekend and like all this content that i have to do so i'm just like in this grinding gears of like working and i don't feel the rest just yet i think i'll feel better tomorrow when like this project is submitted everything's all over with work and i can relax a little focus on my content on friday because i have off so we're almost there just weird. I'm not in like the best mood, honestly, but you guys know me, this always happens on deadline weeks. And yeah, I'm like so hungry. I gotta go in and there's a car coming. So I'll see you guys inside. Okay, you guys, I am gonna go eat a salad because I had like, I was like snacking kind of all day. So I'm not that hungry, but I feel like if I don't eat something like for dinner, then I'm just gonna eat like really bad food in like two hours. So I am going to go edit outside while it's still nice out. The sun is like going down kind of as we speak, but I like that. I have my laptop, I have all my journaling stuff. So we're just gonna spend Wednesday night outside as per usual and just working, but at least we're outside, right? I will see you guys later. I don't really know where I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna pick up a salad from Sweet Green and then either edit there or just like somewhere else random. But I just wanna be outside. It's literally like my one requirement in order for me to like feel happy and restful right now. So let's go outside. And yeah, no exercise today really. I'm like not gonna walk. I just don't have time. <laughs> Cause I walked for like two hours yesterday. was so weird also i'm back i went on a walk after i finished my video and i'm really happy because like i still got my steps in i didn't close my rings but like whatever i'm close enough there was like a blackout in arlington that is so weird i was sitting outside the fountain facetiming jerry and then i was right outside my building and the whole building just went off and all the lampposts and the the street lights went off it was so weird and and then i was just like i think i sat there for maybe like five or so minutes and then it all came back on. It was so, it was just so bizarre. But yeah, now I'm back home. I need to take a shower. I'm like, I got bug bites everywhere because I literally edited my whole video outside eating a salad and then I walked around. So kind of gross, but I'm gonna go to sleep. I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning right before I go to work. I debated working before I went to sleep tonight, but I think I'm just gonna go into the office early because my deadline is tomorrow. Ideally, I wanted it to be done today, but I think it'll just have to be tomorrow morning because I just don't want to work anymore tonight, ew. I asked my manager too if I could give it to him like mid-morning tomorrow and he said yes, so there you go.
Okay. Well, I actually feel a lot better since I walked and now I'm going to go to sleep. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow morning, but good night. So we're back home. I love this. I love these lights. Good morning, you guys. I'm not even kidding. Every single night I sleep in my Brooklinen, it feels like the first time. These sheets are just so comfortable and I genuinely have the best sleep all the time every single night when I sleep in my Brooklyn Inn. Good morning you guys. Happy Thursday. It is early. I'm gonna go okay wait actually the power went out last night. Remember when I told you guys the power went out and my clock says it's 229 and it says it's January 1st. The time is 6 38 a.m. Okay. All good, let's go to work and I'm in every single day this week because I'm off tomorrow because it's a disconnect day for July 4th weekend. So that's good, but I'm honestly just like still stressed. I need to like turn in my project. I have to present on an old project today and I'm just freaking stressed. So I just need this day to end. I realize you guys, I didn't cook like all week and I, I feel like when I do these work week in my life vlogs, I like to cook at least once. I hate cooking, okay? At least right now, and especially alone, and extra especially if I'm like busy and stressed, like cooking is the last thing I wanna do. I like don't have time to cook dishes and just like all this stuff. No, I don't like cooking. So I'm really sorry, you guys, but like this is a very, this turned out to be like a more stressful and busy week than I expected. Like I thought this was just gonna be like fun, like me filming my work week with you guys, just like chill, but I'm not chill at all this week. Cause I have a deadline. And that's just like the reality of living in this corporate world. If any of you guys have like project work or deadlines, like client deadlines, you guys know how this feels, right? Like on the deadline week, you're just like unwell. So I'm gonna go to work, but I promise, seriously, I promise, I will be so much better when I come back from work today. And let me show you guys my outfit before I go. I wear this all the time. This is an old Topshop wrap top. I love this so much. I'm really glad I got it. I like wish I got it in more colors. It's just very flattering, comfortable, office appropriate, and just nice. And then I'm wearing my favorite mom jeans from Abercrombie. I just found out before I went to bed last night that Abercrombie started their like 25% off plus extra 15% off sale. So you guys better get on that. I'm gonna link these jeans. I wear these jeans probably the most out of all of my Abercrombie jeans. I think these are my absolute favorite. These are like the mom jeans and they are literally the best. Well, I will talk to you guys after work today. Here's my finished look. I did touch up my hair very briefly with the Dyson, but like not too serious or anything. I just wanted to touch it up a little. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Last day of the work week. I'm not kidding. The amount of relief that I feel right now is just indescribable. <laughs> I'm so relieved my project isn't in. I presented today to like really important people. And honestly, just, I really wouldn't call this like a great work week. I feel like I was really stressed and deadline weeks. Like I need to figure out how to deal with my deadline weeks better, but I feel like you can't have it figured out all the time. And I definitely do not have it figured out as like polished as these videos look. If you guys really watch my videos and you read all the texts that I put in, I feel like I've been kind of saying how I've been struggling lately with like my job and just with life in general and I just want you guys to know that even though I edit my videos and I try to make it as good as they should be, they're still pretty realistic at the end of the day. This was not a good week at work. And instead of watching a movie alone, which I was gonna do, I literally just canceled my ticket, you guys. I was gonna go watch the Elvis movie by myself because I really wanna go to the movie theaters alone. It's just like a bucket list thing. But I had just such an antisocial, like stressed week at work. Like all I wanna do is just hang out with people and drink wine and just chill. So that's what I'm gonna do. I refunded my ticket and I'm actually gonna go tomorrow morning, going to the movie theater alone for the first time and everything. And I think it'll be really fun. I'm just gonna go ahead and end off this work week here. You guys, like I said, I'm sorry I like didn't cook anything and this work week was like kind of a load of nothing, but, but oh well, I was just doing my best, like actually working my job this week and trying to make you guys along a realistic week, doing deadlines, having a short week. If you guys made it to the very end, let me know if the short weeks are the harder weeks. Like a five day work week, you can kind of like 
space everything out. But when it's a short week, you're just cramming everything in and you feel like you're kind of working like more because you just want to get enough done that week since it's short. I don't know if that makes any sense, but let me know if you guys relate. And just like, thank God this week is over. <laughs> Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, miss you already. See you.